Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty interesting news to go and cover for all of you lovely folks out here. Where there actually is now apparently information and leaks now coming out that there's going to be another brand new PlayStation 5. And now this is going to be a little bit more of an intriguing topic to go and cover because it's not necessarily like something super crazy, but it's crazy enough that I think it's something that's never really been done in the whole console gaming generation. This also may also be meaning that they want to maybe phase out the PlayStation 5 five disc edition in the future and maybe you also just relying purely on a playstation 5 digital model for their next upcoming integration of all of their consoles so very intriguing news and kind of a very intriguing like just brand new occurrence coming out over here when it comes to well the playstation 5 so let's go and talk about it as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below target links down below and like i said the twitter and twitch room down below too as well we also have a very intriguing announcement we'll be having up on the channel itself up throughout these next probably week or so so be on the lookout for that now uh we have a few articles first and foremost to go discuss in this one it kind of start off originally on over here with the brand new insider gaming website where sony to launch the new playstation 5 with a detachable disk drive sources suggest so as you guys can probably go and tell or just know we have the normal 500 dollar playstation 5 disc edition with the disc you know for games whatever the 400 dollar playstation 5 digital so this was essentially just have a removable slash detachable disc drive in between the two so, um, the PlayStation 5 is set to get a unique overhaul. Now, they're kind of assuming in the middle of the fiscal year of 2023. Now, I want to remind you guys, though, the fiscal years can also go and kind of somewhat be in the middle. Now, it could also be, like, say, like, in 2024 as well, because, like, the fiscal year is, it's like, an, it's an awkward time star in, like, it's whatever. So, when this is also the new console launching around September 2023, says sources. So, this is, like, from a pretty reputable leak. And pretty reputable, you know, stuff in general. So it does seem like there's going to be a brand new PlayStation 5. Now, this has been news for a little while. Like, I think we've been, I think a lot of us have known. We're tech, like, it's crazy to still think that we're about two years into this console generation. But, as you guys always know, there even when, even when the console first came out, there already was people working on the new PlayStation Pro. People already working on, like, you know, Slims or whatever it may be. And this also might be that nice in between right there. So, sources familiar with Sony's plans have shared details under the condition of a nominity outlining the next iteration of the PlayStation 5. It has been suggested that this console will then be repl completely replace the A, B, and C chassis that have been in production since the console's launch. So if you guys don't know what those A, B, C, A, B, C chassis mean, is that there's currently three different iterations of consoles that are being made right now. Uh, one is we have the original one with that really big, big heat sink. Then we have a secondary one which had a slightly more fine-tuned heat sink. And then we had a third one that's essentially all the same. Like just It's like progressively going down as time goes on. So there's essentially three different versions out there, depending on which one you get, what you buy, like which area and region. Now, some of them also get phased out as they get better features. So what does this mean? That basically means the next upcoming PlayStation 5, which might even still be even two years away, a year and a half away, maybe even a year away. And so it is quite some time. So if you guys have a chance to get a console nowadays, it's probably just worth it to go get it. And you don't have to worry because it probably won't be a big change or something that notable in the first place. But they will be replacing and changing some features, as we mentioned. So the console, which is what people are assuming is like currently like the D chassis. So like the fourth iteration of the PlayStation 5 will be having almost identical hardware to the existing consoles already on the market. So that's a big reason why it's like, you don't have to stress too much. There's already been three variations, and it's essentially the same playthrough, besides maybe like a one to two degree internal temperature change, if even that. Like, it's not one of those things where, oh my god, I need to go and, like, I I just bought a C chassis. Let's, oh my god, I have to go buy the D1. It's such a big difference. It's not really. It's kind of the same uh at the end of the day like maybe a good example is maybe the gpus where there might be slight like a very slight efficiency change or a very slight like maybe less power draw or maybe very slight maybe weight loss uh when it comes to this. but although this one does have a slightly new feature we don't know it fully exactly in the release date yet though but like i said it's at least for the internals you're not going to feel bad about buying a console now because what if this takes another two years because we are still seeing supply chain issues etc cetera, etc cetera. so i mean at the end of the day they could also even drop it too but this seems like it's a pretty good leak so the most surprising new feature, though, of this new tier of PlayStation 5 is that the console will have a detachable disk drive. 
very intriguingly enough. So, if you guys want to, this is like, I kind of almost want to put to maybe the same idea of like a USB drive where they have like the USB and you just plug it into your, uh, like a USB hard drive. And you plug that on in, it's portable, you can use it, you unplug it, do whatever, versus say a hard drive in your PC or an SSD. So essentially, if you have a portable hard drive that you plug on in, it's the same functionality, just a slightly different use case, you know? So like one's always on your PC, so that's like the current PlayStation 5 Disk Edition, where it's always perpetually in your console. You don't have to worry about stuff or have any secondary attachment, attachments or whatever. Or then you go and have, say, like this new iteration when it comes out in the future, and you have just like a portable USB type thing. Like, I think that's a good example, a good metaphor, but like of already existing products. So basically for this one, the console will have a detachable disk drive, which you guys know is used for game discs. The detachable disk drive will can be connected to the PlayStation 5 using the extra USB-C port in the back of the console. But also it's a little bit weird though in case you're trying to charge up multiple consoles possibly as well. But at the end of the day it doesn't seem that bad. You can still have your one controller that's playing and then you have the other one plugged on in. So it's understood that this new PlayStation 5 console will be sold on its own or in a bundle with the detachable disk drive. It's also understood that the disk drivers can be purchased separately, so if it gets busted, there's no need to buy an entirely new console. Now, I have been a gamer for a very long time, and I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts if you want to tweet at me or Twitch chat or YouTube comment down below. But I kind of just like it when it's built on in. Make it simple. I probably won't ever have issues with my current PS5 disk additions uh, with the drive being there. Like, I kind of feel like it's not going to be that bad. Like, it's just already there, you plug in the disc, you're good to go, easy peasy. So, I'm not sure if I like this change. Granted, this is going to be a few years out. They may change a few different things or have different internals or whatever. Uh, I could see it happening, though. This also maybe would be really nice then for maybe, like, game sharing. So, maybe, say, you just put your game disc in the hard drive, and then instead of having to bring your entire console, whatever, you just maybe just bring that. Although, at the end of the day, I think we just usually have cases. So, you just put the game in the case and then go to your friend's house or whatever. Uh, I don't really see too many benefits. It does kind of seem like they're trying to focus more than maybe on the PlayStation 5 digital, though. Uh, because if they're making the disc, uh, disc drive removable, it would make sense that they want to push a little bit more into the digital side, too, as well. So a lot of folks are saying that it should be presumably pretty much around the same looks of the console. Maybe slightly different looking. So maybe like a little bit smaller or maybe a little bit more slimmer. But I'm sure they'll probably be trying to maintain the same aesthetic and outside of it, too, as well. So a lot of these people are saying the detachable disk drive could entail that a new iteration of the PlayStation 5 actually might be slimmer, though, and maybe potentially lighter because you don't have the disk drive involved, which what Sony has been trying to implement effectively with the latest PS5 models, as we've had a chance to see. As you guys know, the most recent PlayStation 5s usually do push, like I think they've gone down almost like an entire ounce uh, of weight or like maybe an entire pound of weight, where it's just the entire weight is going down a pretty decent amount, and it's gone down like 0 .4, 0 .4, 0 0.4, every single time they've had a new console come out. So it's understood that Sony is anticipating producing 18.5 million units of the new PS5 console in the fiscal year of 2023, and only 12 million units of the AC chassis consoles as they begin to be phased out. So this also means that they might just be completely starting to phase out these older generations, it's kind of weird to call it like an older generation when some people don't even have their first one. But as you guys know, the past two years, maybe some of these consoles, I don't want to say maybe become obsolete, because they're not necessarily actually obsolete, you know, at the end of the day, but it, at least in comparison to like a console's made three years later. So Sony Interactive has reported that as of June 2022, the company has shipped over 21.7 million PlayStation 5 consoles. If these product figures are to be believed, it suggests that the company is expected to significantly ramp up the next couple of years as hard drive components start to become more readily available. So this is very intriguing to me because every single time we have new consoles, it kind of gets me more hyped up for like a PS5 Pro or whatever. But uh, I do think the idea of a detachable disk drive is somewhat strange maybe not my number one big choice of what i would change or adjust if i had the option to but at the end of the day you can kind of go either way 
I'm I'm very torn on this, but at least it is trying to probably be a little bit lighter, hopefully maybe cheaper, or maybe just a cheaper $400 base bone for the digital, and then ideally nothing else changes. But very intriguing news nonetheless, and I'm very intrigued to see and hear about it. So give me your thoughts and comments down below as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below, Twitter and Twitch stream down below, and Target links, Amazon links down below, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching.